and welcome to the centennial episode of We Only Look Thin. Woo! I am your host, Catherine Weigel. Uh, I have lost 150 pounds. That's a centennial and a half a centennial. And <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's how you yes, say that. Yes, yes, that's how we say it. And uh, with me today is uh, my wonderful and uh, very admirable and great husband. Wow, you really brought it down there. <laughs> Donald Weigel, hello, you. thank you, and I've lost a centennial of weight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost about we 100 are pounds. Articulate. This hey, is this is our hundreds. 100th episode. Wow, is that what centennial means? Yeah. Wow. Woo. Yay. I'm gonna like try and add boobazella sounds or. Woo. I'm not actually sure if that horn. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know if that horn noise that we make that. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't know if that is a boobazella. I think it I is. I think boobazella is that thing that goes like wow. It's not boo boo zella, like boo boo the bear. It's voo voo zella. Oh, like, I've been saying it wrong my whole life. <laughs> Your whole life. You were today years yeah. old when you realized it was a V, not a B. I was. I this was. It's a job for Letterman. You know, I have to admit something to you right now. Oh, interesting. Like, I am absolutely exhausted. I have six Facebook friends that have birthdays today. Whoa. And I just wish them all happy birthday on Facebook. And I feel like I need a nap. I'm completely spent. I don't know if uh, I can podcast right now. I think you can. You I think believe I can do in you. It? I have a growth mindset. <laughs> but you do take okay. your Facebook birthday posts very seriously. Yeah. I uh, am generally too exhausted to wish people a happy birthday. I'm not a words of affirmation person. So. <laughs> So I try. Don't I know it? I try. Don't but ha- I if know this it. is your birthday, happy birthday. Good job, Donald Weigel. Thank you. Um, speaking of good jobs. Hey, it's our 100th episode. It's our 100th episode. Yeah. They, just like our marriage, they said it wouldn't last. Yeah, they sure did. And we decided to do. Of nay. <laughs> we decided to do 100 episodes just to prove them all but wrong. But that is crazy. Great. Like, it yeah. is actually crazy. Four years ago, if I look at my. Uh, Facebook, where were you four years ago? Four years ago, I was probably face down in a pile of nacho cheese. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. honestly, last the, the November before I started losing weight, uh, I was in a very dark place. Uh, and uh, so that's fun times. And we're going to. <laughs> I was trying to think of like a cave, <laughs> a very dark place. Yeah. No, I was a spelunker of, yeah. do- of doom and regret. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's our 100th episode, and we are going to switch up the format today because guess what? You're still getting your money's worth. Yeah. Because guess what? It's free. <laughs> yeah. So we, we thought we would do something a little bit different. Um, we are not going to do the uh, tip of the week. Tap! Pow! But we're still saying we're it, which still is saying fun. It, or the you product feel like of you've the already week. gotten it. Pow! Pow! We're not. We're not going to do either nope. of those things. Nope. Um, but we are going to go over and give you one hundred non-scale victories. Woohoo! Yeah, and uh, you know, I I feel like we go through life and we think about losing weight mostly for vanity reasons, like mostly because we want to attract people of the opposite sex, mostly because or we the wanna, same sex or the same sex. Sorry, yeah. sorry, everyone. We want everyone wanna, is looking at us. Yes, um, and we don't often think about all of the benefits. You know, we just worry about that number on the scale. We don't always think about the benefits to losing weight that don't involve that number on the scale. Well, and a lot of times we don't even think about all of those other things. The, yeah. the list that we're going to go through, not 101 Dalmatians. We're talking about 101 non-scale reasons that this uh, means something to us. Yeah. And uh, because we were going to do 101 Dalmatians episode and then realized it made no sense. We're naming dogs. Whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rex. Uh, Timothy. <laughs> One of them's named Spot, right? It's got to be. Yeah, but Timothy. Yeah, like Timothy. Are... Yeah. It's like the intellectual one, like the dog that wears glasses. You don't so. give dogs human names. I firmly <laughs> believe in this. I worked with a woman uh, who had a daughter yeah. named Courtney yeah, and a dog named Tiffany. Yeah, no. That's and unacceptable. I, I remember one time she was like, well, then like Tiffany got up on my lap and was licking my face. And I was like, oh, my God, is her daughter troubled? Like, what is happening? But 
You man. can't have a Tiffany and a Courtney. You if can't do If you've it. got a dog with a human name, we'd like to hear from you. Iris Cooper, if you're listening right now, yeah. uh, your daughter Whoa, is delightful. Oh, you like you outed her on national podcast radio. No, I meant Alice Cooper. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, so we have uh, a number of ways that our lives are better. And the, the point of this, um, it's going to seem boastful. Yeah. It's going to seem braggadocious. Yeah, we really wanted to pat ourselves on the back and make ourselves (laughs) seem awesome. So if you just want to just prep yourself for must be nice, uh, that's fine. Like, you're getting your money's worth if you're listening. This is on you at this point. But the, the scale is one thing. We all have numbers that we're looking at. But there are so many ways in the last four years that our lives have changed and we would love for you, as you're listening to our boastful list, <laughs> Yeah, I would love for you to consider the things in your life uh, that you don't even think about as being sort of weight related. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. A I lot didn't of these things it. are a surprise to me. Like They're a lot hard. of these things I did not, you know, when I set out to lose weight, I, uh, it was not something that I ever thought was part of it. Like I didn't even yeah. realize my weight was contributing to a lot of these things. Like not having a podcast about weight loss was right. something we didn't even consider. No. We didn't didn't consider that. That. <laughs> anyway. And now we are and internet weight loss sensations. Makers yeah. Wunderkin. Yeah. Or is it Wunderkin because you don't know what V's are? Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. You are the worst. <laughs> I am still the worst. That yeah, hasn't still changed. still the worst. That hasn't changed. Still the Losing worst. the weight has um, not made you better. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't. Some things don't change. And we're going to yeah. talk about that too. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, so we're going to tag team it. We're going to kind of like, we're in a, a ring and we're tagging in. Yeah. We're tagging and a lot out. of these things may overlap. Yeah. But, too bad. Um, you're going to get a hundred. <laughs> you might even get more than a hundred. We don't even know. Yeah. This isn't, we're generally about math. We're not counting things. Yeah. So, um. Anyway, so I think I'm going to start yes. off, but we're not doing a tip of the week. Tow! Tow, but you everybody! Still got it. You know, sometimes when someone says something like that, they're like, oh, I bet they did a, t- they did a tip of the week because they said that. We yeah. didn't even give you a tip of the tip week. Tip of the week to tip you! Tip of the week to you! I'm going to put a fake tip of the week in the show notes, maybe. Uh, so uh, so we're going to get started. It's going to be, uh, these aren't organized by category. We don't have time for that. We're too busy no. being inspirations to make this a, a tight, buttoned up episode. That's right. So- Losing weight has not contributed to <laughs> Us being more organized or more prepared for the show. Nope. Um, so I'm going to go through some. And I'm going to tag out and I'm going to tap in Donald. So yeah. uh, I'm going to start yeah. now. If you're a fan of uh, wrestling, you'll know what that means. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's a macho man macho Randy Savage man there. Randy Snap into a Slim Jim. S- uh, yeah. It's, it's, slim Jims are not something that are part of the list, but no. we still worked it into the episode. So kudos to us. My new nickname is Slim Jim. That is one of the things. <laughs> uh, I like Slim James. Personally, slim James. it's more sophisticated. That's right. Okay. It's very serious. Let's yeah, get let's to our do list. This. this I don't know how long this is going to be. It could be very long, depending on how much I let it ramble. Yeah. You're getting your money's worth. Oh, my it goodness. Again. Just okay. start already. <laughs> okay. So, uh, these are a mixture of things that I don't miss slash whatever. We'll see. We'll wordsmith it later. So, You'll figure it out as okay. we go. I am, these are the things that have changed since I have lost 150 pounds. Um, I no longer worry about fitting into airplane seats. Ah. I no longer size up the size of public restrooms wondering if I will fit in the stall. Oh, man. Or movie theater chairs and being afraid of uh, – you know, bouncing up against other people because of my width. Oh, yeah. Uh, I no longer fear breaking chairs, which I have actually done uh, in front of a customer. I don't look at the weight limits on ladders to see if I will break the ladder. Uh, I no longer worry about breaking stairs, which I have literally gone through a stair before. Man. Uh, I don't look at the total available weight on elevators, and size up everyone in the elevator to see. <laughs> Try and figure out if you're going to push it over the top. But I seriously, every time Cause I got in the elevator. everyone to plummet to their death. I, that is not a lie. Yeah. I actually did that. Uh, I'm not out of breath just by standing up or yeah. let alone walking up a flight of stairs. Um, I no longer have really weird rashes that used to, uh, actually used to happen yeah. at uh, a higher weight. Uh, and I'm not exhausted all the time. All right. She, she just pointed a finger at me, so it's my turn. <laughs> it wasn't a middle finger. <laughs> it was not for once. It was not a middle finger. Um, I actually stopped snoring, 
which I did not imagine was a thing that would happen. Um, I look forward to walking up the stairs, and I didn't used to do that. Uh, I stopped having to take three different prescription medicines, which is huge. Insert Boo Boo Zealous now. <laughs> yeah, and look, you know, it seems I, I said we, I know we weren't supposed to editorialize. It seems obvious that you know weight is related to health issues, but I didn't think that I would just be able to stop taking those medicines uh, because of losing weight. Um, I don't feel self-conscious about getting onto an airplane anymore. Like I used to worry about what the pe- person I was going to sit next to was thinking about having to sit next to me. I don't have to take naps all the time. And I used to have to do that all the time. Uh, I just have way more energy in general. Um, I don't get winded going up one flight of stairs. Uh, doing a lot of walking has become easy. I actually like how I look in photographs. Uh, and um, finding clothes that I really like has become much easier. He hasn't pointed a finger at me. I wasn't counting. I don't count things. It's back to you, darling. (laughs) Thank you. Um, I no longer consider smothering Donald to death in his sleep (laughs) from snoring, which was definitely a possibility at one point. Yeah, yeah. I no longer dread having those, like, work uniform team building shirts that actually fit me because oh, in yeah. the past I couldn't wear team building shirts because they didn't come in. Now you wear sizes. the heck out of them. I do. Um, I don't have to walk sideways down aisles of, uh, you know, antique stores with narrow aisles or airplane uh, aisles. I don't have to do that. Yeah. Um, no one asks me if I'm pregnant. I'm never worried that people are going to ask me that, which has actually happened. Never had a child. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, like it, it's just horrifying to think of somebody putting their hand on your stomach and asking when you're due, like, like which did happen to you. Yeah, uh, I am no longer worried about not fitting into bridesmaids' dresses. Literally, once uh, was asked to be in a wedding, the bride picked out dresses that only came up to a size like ten or twelve. Had to not wear the bridesmaid dress. Super embarrassing. Yeah. Um, I no longer worry about fitting into restaurant booths. I no longer worry about my thighs billowing out of armchairs. Yeah. Uh, I no longer worry about my clothes ripping, which has actually happened. Mm -hmm. Um, I no longer want to or need to sleep on the couch because of Donald's snoring, uh, <laughs> which wow. I actually... My snoring really caused problems. It was awful. Uh, I no longer think of anything as a finish line. There's no finish line until I hop in the grave. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're going to hop in. <laughs> I don't know. I've got a lot that, of energy. <laughs> that old expression. Yeah, now I hop into the grave instead of just... Whatever I did before. I no longer must my or uh, must be nice my way through life. Uh I no longer feel envy of everyone. Uh and I no longer use alcohol as a crutch. Um I no longer worry about Catherine smothering me to death <laughs> in my sleep because of my snoring. Uh if she's going to smother me to death now, I know it's for something it's I deserve. It's just because he's a jerk. <laughs> it's just because I did something. It's for that... his personality, not yeah, for yeah, his. Exactly. <laughs> That's all I ever really wanted was to be smothered to, be hated to death for because his of my personality. personality, not because of my weight. Um I don't feel as self conscious when I eat in front of people, yeah. um, which I used to do all the time, and therefore I almost never secret eat, which I did constantly before. Um, I feel more confident in general. I don't mind saying I'm hungry in front of people. Like I used to never want to actually admit that I was hungry before. Um, And I will admit this one might be in my imagination, but I swear people are friendlier to me in general. Like especially women. Like if I'm just sort of walking around, I feel like I get smiled at on the street and stuff. And that never used to happen. Um I actually like how physical exercise makes me feel, like where before I would just feel destroyed by it and and hated it. Um, I actually look forward to going to the doctor um, because he generally tells me how awesome I am. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get 
happy when I find a parking space that's far away from a a store instead of, you know, like in the corner of the parking lot instead of up near the door where I used to get mad before if I couldn't find a close one. Um, my wedding ring no longer pinches me. It's just my marriage that pinches me. <laughs> um, I'm writing that. I've got a counter to that one. <laughs> jotting it down. Um, I rarely eat the uh, free food at work. Um, I pass on it all the time. Um, and I actually think I enjoy food treats more because they are less frequent and I can also in, indulge in them guilt free because I work them into my plan. Um, it's not because I can eat whatever I want because I definitely cannot do that, but I, I can indulge in things without feeling terrible about it all the time, which I used to when I was a hundred pounds heavier. Oh, he pointed at me. Yeah, yeah. Back to you, darling. <laughs> Back to you. Um, I no longer sit on the sidelines of everything. I will engage in activities at parties or like I'm, yeah. I'm much more. She now stands on the sidelines. I stand. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's a way to do it. Um, I have developed boundaries that I did not have before. I've been more assertive in standing up with myself. Still a work in progress, yeah. but uh, I feel much more confident. Uh, I no longer believe that there is some magical wagon that I am either on or off. I don't, you know, think oh, I'm on a, a, really good a wagon train across country. Uh, I just realize that it's my life. Got to live it. Yeah. Um, I don't have motivation as my motivation for losing weight or maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Motivation uh, is nice when it comes to visit, but it doesn't happen all that often, and that is okay. Uh, I no longer just wish for things or must be nice. I yeah. actually realize and take advantage of taking action instead of wishes. Um, I like it. I This is a weird one, and there's no easy way to say it. I used to not wear sunglasses because uh, I thought my blue eyes were my best feature. And such I would beautiful be, eyes. Such beautiful eyes. Yeah, people um, like have, have really stopped her at grocery stores and stuff and like said, I just want to tell you what beautiful eyes you have. So uh, I used to have great eyes. Now I've got great everything. Which I know... Um, <laughs> I know that sounds like a good thing, but when you're self-conscious about the whole rest of your body, like, I don't mean to speak for you, dear, but I feel like, you know, it, it was like nobody ever, people would say you had a pretty face or they had pretty eyes and nobody would ever just compliment you on your whole you. Right. No, I have, a, I have family members who have said like, oh, you have such a beautiful face if only, and then they would like look at my body and kind of recoil. Like yeah. not, I'm not naming names, but it has happened. <laughs> oh, but, I'll name names. But I didn't wear sunglasses because I wanted people to be able to see some value in my physical appearance and my eyes were all I had. So I didn't wear sunglasses, uh, which is kind of horrifying. Yeah. Um, I was also afraid of weight limits on roller coasters, uh, like actually thought I would break roller coasters. Yeah. Uh, I uh, would always look for the handicap or disabled stalls in restrooms because I literally didn't feel like I could fit or grab toilet paper when I was in a regular size stall. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I also am grateful now that I think I would, I don't know, Donald maybe doesn't believe me, but I think in the zombie apocalypse, I would survive the first wave. Whereas before I would be like the first out, like, cause I couldn't get away I from them. I don't know. This is really debatable. Like your survival skills are crap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to live in a post-apocalyptic world, yeah. but if given the chance I could, could outrun at least some I don't people. Know. Maybe you'd make it to the second or third wave. Okay, I guess thanks, I'll give you that. Uh, we'll we'll find out. No, we'll 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 uh, we'll table it for now. And then also, I do I do not. I know I'm doubling up on the comedy, but I don't just wish to go on Survivor to die uh, of starvation. Like I actually realize that I can lose weight without being on an island eating nothing yeah. but sand and rocks or or shark bite or. <laughs> wow, she just she's just giving finger, me gunned the finger guns now <laughs> to uh, I. Find only you people can see that. Um, so since I've lost 100 pounds, I can actually change TV channels with my mind. <laughs> Without, would you stand up? We don't, we don't have a child just so that she can walk over to the television right. and change the channel. <laughs> yeah, we didn't adopt a kid just to change TV channels, <laughs> which you, was originally why we did Go get Papa it. beer, would you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, I, the first thing I did was teach her how to get me a beer. Oh, and my God. Put a, that is not put true. Put a pizza in the oven. Not yeah, true. no, neither of those things are true. Um, 
So uh, I can actually buy a suit off the rack. Um, I can't remember what the situation was, but I got invited somewhere at the last minute. Your and, cousin's wedding. Oh, yeah. Cousin's wedding at the last minute. And could not find a suit that fit me at a store like the, you know, the couple of days before it. It was kind of a nightmare. We ended up going to like 17 stores. And it was not. And he ended up in like a... Anyway, yeah, it's not a good. Not good. But I, I more recently bought a suit and got it right off the rack. I still had to have the pants hemmed because I'm short, but <laughs> um, losing- You're tall challenged. I was able- I'm, Yes, I'm vertically challenged. I was able to uh, to buy it right off the rack. Um, and it I, looks really good. We should probably post- a, You look really good in a suit. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very <clears> much. <throat> Um, I know that you kind of already said this one, but, um, I don't worry about fitting into seats on amusement park rides anymore. Um, and this one is huge. Uh, I actually, I, I used to have to see a heart doctor, uh, once a year. And before that it was every, every few months. And, um, my heart doctor actually told me a year ago that I didn't need to come back and see him again, unless I was actually having a problem. Like, let's just, can we pause for a second? The health benefits of managing one's weight yeah. cannot be measured in weight. <laughs> Wait yeah, a minute, yeah, what did yeah. I say? Like the number of health issues that we just assume are part of life are astounding. And that you, like in all honesty, uh, no uh, joking, like that you were able to not see a cardiologist anymore is a huge deal. So yeah, I'm, uh, you know, I couldn't be happier about that one um i have uh given up on my all or nothing attitude <laughs> um like i i used to believe that i either had to do something 100 percent or not at all and not just with weight loss but just in general and now i know that you know you can you can make progress with baby steps and you can make progress by doing things you know partially in and not have to be a hundred percent hardcore and actually still accomplish goals. Um, I don't beat myself up every time I eat a treat now. In fact, I eat treats pretty frequently and they exclusively sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I don't, you know, I don't feel bad about it because I've found a way to work them into my life. Um, I have been able to work on other aspects of my life. I've been able to apply the techniques that I have uh, had towards weight loss to other things in my life. Um, and this one, uh, I do not get sick nearly as often. I used to get colds and flu like all the time. I would have colds that lasted three weeks and then I would get better for like a week or two and then get sick again for three weeks. And I, that is... Now it's like a few days and I'm back on track, which I don't have any medical proof of anything, but that is a huge one. Sorry, it's not my turn yet. I'll be quiet. Yeah, no, no, so no. Sorry. I, I'm happy I'll to hear quiet. you talk. I he love the sound of your voice. <laughs> and obviously uh, I do too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, I, this one could be considered good or bad, but I can't stop buying new t-shirts because can. I look so good in them. <laughs> he does though. <laughs> back to you, darling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, no kidding. No lie. I no longer need to wear two bras to do physical exercise. I used to have wow. a base bra and then a super extra double bra on top of the first bra uh, just to stand up uh, without my breasts uh, flying around the room uh, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> whirling dervishes <laughs> like well, i was gonna say a golden snitch but uh anyway uh Good I, harry potter reference i sleep better uh i no longer get like charlie horse leg cramps all the time yeah uh which is great i can actually at a wedding i can dance all the way through y m and c a instead <laughs> of y like we actually went to a wedding once where yeah. halfway through the song i had to sit down i blamed the elevation because it was in the mountains but everybody else was dancing the mountains <laughs> <laughs> were they next to the plantains <laughs> um I uh, don't miss being sass talked by my husband. I don't know. I like mispronouncing things. It's funny. No, that's one thing that hasn't changed. You still no. get the sass talk. I do. Um, I can wrap a bath towel around myself and I don't need the beach towel. I am not kidding. Yeah. For years, I just assumed that bath towels were built too small. Um, 
I can use a robe at, say, a hotel or a spa that actually fits. I does It's not too small, which was definitely a problem. Yeah, in the past. for sure. I can cross my legs. Uh, I don't consider this actually happened. Uh, I don't consider going to the veterinarian office to step on the animal scale that they have out in the like at the pallet sized yeah. scale to see what my weight is. Uh, so that's a big one. Uh, I'm not like sweaty all the time. I used to be sweaty all the time. Oh, that's a good one. Um, and my wedding rings fit. At one point, I had to take off my wedding rings because they were too tight and it was making me have a rash around my fingers because it was too tight. Back to me. <laughs> She's frantically pointing at me. Um, I no longer, I know you already said this one, but I no longer have to wear two bras <laughs> to do physical exercise. Um, no, that one's totally a joke. Uh, I still have to wear two bras. Um, I, uh, I, the am... bro bra, <laughs> the man's I, ear, <laughs> the man's ear. No, it's the bro, the man's ear. I still, uh, I still get a little bit of a charge. I know this one makes me sound really vain, but I am pleasantly surprised every time I see myself in the mirror now. Like I used to be pretty disappointed every time I looked in a mirror. Um, I don't feel self-conscious about elevators. Uh, I know Catherine always met, you know, already mentioned checking the weight limit, but when I get on elevators that people are already on, like I used to feel like, you know, they were thinking like, oh boy, this he is... He really should take the stairs. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to, this is going to push it over. Uh, I don't stand still on escalators. Uh, even when the escalator's moving, I, I actually walk up it. Um, I don't worry about seatbelts not fitting me, like Airplane seatbelts, I used to have to worry that I would need the extender, and like that just feels really embarrassing. Um, I don't mind restaurant booths nearly as much. Like, for whatever reason, America is obsessed with sitting at the booth instead of a regular table, and I used to like really hate it because half the time, like, the table would press into my stomach, and there's no way to push back from it. Um, I don't worry about breaking step stools, and I used to genuinely worry about that. Uh, I used to worry about pop popping buttons off of button-down shirts, and I don't worry about that anymore. I actually enjoy taking the long way when I walk somewhere. Um, it makes me feel good. Um, people take me seriously when I give fitness advice, uh, and you know why would they ever have taken me seriously before? Uh, and uh, before I go back to Catherine, uh, I don't mind sitting in the back seat of a car. Nearly yeah. As oh much. my gosh. Go yeah, I used to hate that. He didn't point at me, so I'm not. <laughs> I said after this one, we were going back to you, so Look. I wouldn't. There wouldn't be an awkward pause. <laughs> we can we can fix it in post. Oh my goodness. Um, we who's this we who yeah. can fix it in post? Okay. Yeah. No. I we literally. I would just be in a room talking to myself if it wasn't for <laughs> Donald and his uh, tech savviness. So uh, thanks, our IT guy. You're welcome. Uh -oh. I can tie my shoes without sort of worrying about my stomach getting in the way. Uh, regular zip-up knee-high boots actually fit now instead of being too tight for me, which is really annoying and, and was bad. Yeah. Um, I don't dread seeing people like when I – before I started this last time journey, friends were visiting from London – actually didn't see them on purpose. I made up an excuse because I didn't want them to see how big I had gotten. Uh, so avoiding people was a really big deal. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I don't worry about about airline tray tables not fitting over my stomach. Oh, literally, that's a good one. Literally, tray tables used to hit my stomach and it would be at an angle. Yeah, and, uh, that's it, a good one. It was not good. Um, I don't feel like I need to apologize for the amount of space I take up. Like whether yeah. it is on an airplane or uh, at a movie theater, I would sort of suck in my arms and try to take up as little space as possible. Um, I no longer apologize for the space that I take up. Um, walking is easy. I used to dread it at amusement parks or out with other friends or wherever. Like we would get exhausted very quickly. Yeah. Um, I just thought that was normal. Um I no longer avoid maternity sections at Target or Macy's thinking people will usher me in like, oh, boy, when are you due? Which goes back to the when are you due. But I didn't used to think people would think that the maternity section, like that they would point to me and be like, oh, the maternity section's over there. Yeah. Um, literally, that's how I felt. Um, 
and much more confident in general. I look people in the eyes. I know Donald was saying that people treat him differently, but I feel like I am much more confident uh, around other people. Um, I feel like I stand up for myself more. And that's part of the boundaries thing is just being more assertive and feeling like I have the right to speak my needs, uh, which is a practice. Uh, and I'm more outgoing on vacations. Like Donald said, like, I did yoga when we were away this summer. Like, yeah. I, like, we look forward to going on hikes or doing new physical activity. Yeah, I would have been embarrassed to do a hike with other people before. You know, I would feel self-conscious that I couldn't keep up or that I was going to be the one who right, was like, holding everybody back. Well, and ho- and pretending to hold my breath so that they wouldn't hear me gasping for, for air. But now yeah. I'm like, oh, there's a thousand-step climb in Oahu? Like, let's do it. And it's not even... You know, before I would just hang out at the hotel and now I'm just much more ready to go and try something new. Yeah. Um, And now I'm pointing at Donald. And back to me. Um, My glasses don't put dents in the side of my head. When he used to take his glasses off, there was like a rivet in his head, which he didn't even know about. I had to tell him about it. Yeah, it's uh, it doesn't happen anymore. Uh, Catherine and I fit uh, more comfortably in bed together. We do. Yeah. yeah. We don't need to get like king size beds when we travel. Yeah, exactly. Um, I have a lot more fun on vacation, uh, which I know you sort of just said that, but I, I, because I have more energy and I don't need to like nap in the hotel room and yeah. I'm not constantly having to take breaks and rest, well, like, and, I end up having a lot more fun. Well, and you were like doing the water slide with the kids at the pool. Yeah, and, like, yeah, exactly. We, you know, we played like monkey in the middle with the, with the ball in the ocean and stuff. Yeah. Um, when YouTube suggests a fitness video to me, I don't take it as an insult, <laughs> <laughs> which I uh, I used to do. Um, when I get weighed at the doctor, I don't like try and take everything out of my pockets and like, you know, strip down as much as possible and take my shoes off and then exhale before I totally. stand on the scale so that like the weight of my breath doesn't weigh me down, which I genuinely used to do before. Um, I am now a world-class parkour champion. <laughs> oh, definitely. In yeah. his mind. <laughs> Before, he wouldn't even consider being a parkour champion, but now... Now... He, it, he consider yes, it. <laughs> yes, I, I'm not a parkour champion yet, is what there I say. When before, I used to say I'll never be one. Um, I... I, in more realistic terms, I feel more confident when I wear shorts. <laughs> I used to not like to uh, wear shorts. Um, I, when I'm in a group of people and I'm about to use the F word, everyone, uh, I don't think of myself as the fat guy in the group, like, which I used to do. I used to be self-conscious, like, oh, it's their, their fat Token friend. Token funny yeah. guy. Um, I can, uh, squeeze past people easier in crowds. Uh, which is, you know, I kind of at the grocery store, I sort of make it a game. Like if I I'm trying too. to get somewhere and like there's somebody's got their grocery cart like up near an aisle, I'll like try and slip through now because I, I find it fun that I can do it. And um, I don't have to constantly pull my pants up, which was something that I used to have to do before. And now back to Catherine. Back to me. Was Was that your last set? No, I have some more. Okay, good. Uh, Because I got got a lot more. I have many more additions. (laughs) I got one more set. Okay. Uh, I, again, with the doctor visit, I don't dread going to the doctor when I'm sick because I don't want them to be like, well, you probably have a cold because you are 150 pounds heavier than you should be. Uh, Again, just stepping on the doctor scale is no good. Um, I no longer hide at like jump around bouncy castle trampoline parks. Like I actually went on one. Now you have a membership to one. (laughs) I do. Honestly, if it was closer, I would go to them because they actually have fitness classes at the trampoline parks. Yeah. Uh, But It is super fun, and I don't feel like I'm going to rip the fabric. Again, I just don't get sick as often, and there's no, like, science behind it. But I used to get colds for weeks and weeks at a time. Now, if I'm sick, it's a couple of days. Not saying my life is 100% perfect, but it is much more maintainable. Our daughter has been sick twice in the last two months oh, and yeah. I have not gotten sick. Oh my sick. goodness. And there was there was something going around at work like that was just, you know, laying people out and I didn't get it. And I I don't 
can't prove that that's because of losing the weight, but used to be, you know, somebody would sneeze in in the building next door and I would get sick. Yeah. Um, I, and I, I think I might be stealing this from Donald's, but I don't dread having my photo taken. I take every opportunity for anyone to take my photo. Yeah, for sure. And you definitely are stealing that from me. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I don't seek out moving walkways at airports or oh, escalators. Yeah. Like I feel like sometimes I'll take an escalator because we're with other people and I don't want to be that guy. I know. Uh, but like moving walkways. I'm like, are you kidding me? These are, I'm having my steps stolen by robots. Like that's not going to (laughs) happen. Robots steal her steps. Um, I no longer, it's just an added bonus. I no longer rely on my sense of humor to get by in situations. Like it's still awesome and great. Which is a really good thing. But I'm not like, oh, she's the funny one. Like now I'm like the inspirational one who is also funny (laughs) um, and modest. Right. And talks like this. Um, And I have a growth mindset now. Four years ago, everything happened to me and at me. And I am at a point now where I seek solutions. Like even if when things are bad, I am still looking for solutions. And that was not the case before. Um, She's frantically pointing at me with no warning. So I know I can accomplish big goals now. Like I, I don't, you know, I know I'm joking about becoming a parkour champion, but I know that there are big things that I can do because I accomplished this. Well, and you... Your growth mindset, like as part of that, I have seen a huge change in you in the last four years. Like you, you are maybe still negative as am I, (laughs) but your possibility for- She's being very polite right now. No, but you are much more positive. Oh yeah. Like significantly, like you used to think that stop signs and stoplights were like- colluding against you right and you're much more like it's chill i'm in the car and that's great like you're you're yeah. definitely more positive yeah definitely um i can actually cross my legs now which is something i never used to do i used to do that thing where i would put like my foot up on my opposite knee but i can actually like cross my legs now when i sit down um i have a lot more cosplay and halloween costume options he does like i uh, one time i went as elvis and like a guy stopped me on the street and was like ha, ha, hey it's fat elvis <laughs> and now i can go as regular Elvis. well and the thing is the only costume i could come up with at that same time was a giant moo moo yeah. and i played like a wizened old yeah. elvis fan, elvis fan yeah. which is the thing but like a moo moo was my counter uh cosplay so um i can finally pursue my dream of becoming a trapeze artist (laughs) join the circus and never be seen again (laughs) um i uh i know now that if i have an indulgent day that i can get back on my plan that i don't have to throw away all of the progress that i made before which is something i like that i used to do over and over again like i would have one day of eating whatever and i would then just be like well i guess it's over now and and give up can i everything can i go back to the cosplay thing again sure something i don't think you've mentioned is donald goes to san diego comic-con every year yeah and in the past like it would be exhausting and utterly fatiguing for you to walk the conference floor and like to walk back to the hotel yeah and now you're like the guy who wants to walk back to the hotel at 10 o'clock at night while other people want to get ubers like your stamina no it's true a treasured event is way better yeah i know and that feels it feels pretty good and i get this like smug Smug, sense of satisfaction yeah for sure for wanting to be the guy that wants to walk um I don't avoid maternity sections. At, <laughs> oh, wait, you said that one. You well, said that no, one No, but like the big and tall section, like he had the big part, but not the not tall the part. Not the tall, I know. It's true. Um, I'm not always the guy at work who's too hot anymore. Like I used to be like, you know, I wanted the air conditioning turned down. Now, now I'm actually occasionally the guy who has to put a sweatshirt on because it's too cold in the office. Um. I uh I can actually roundhouse kick people <laughs> instead of just threatening to roundhouse I'm kick gonna people. I'm a roundhouse <laughs> kick you. <laughs> he talks um, a big game, but I've never been roundhoused by him. <laughs> if you know what roundhousing is. 
And then this is actually my real final one, and then it will be back to Catherine. I'm giving you plenty of warning this time, so you know it's back to you after this. Um, I technically don't have diabetes anymore. Like, I actually have, like, reduced my A1C level to a normal, like, non-diabetes level. Wilford Brimley has unfriended him on the Diabetes Network (laughs) (laughs) on the Sugar Channel. Yeah, yeah, that was an unexpected sad thing where Wilford Brimley is no longer my friend. But I technically do not have diabetes anymore. And that is my list of things that have changed. Wow. Sorry, and I ruined it by, like, making it funny. Like, your diabetes diagnosis messed you up like yeah. you thought your world was over and i did really it was just beginning it was just starting yep uh one set of footprints it was wilford brimley carrying you <laughs> <laughs> it sure was <laughs> oh my god wilford brimley like fireman carrying you on a beach i mean that guy looked need- 80 in the 70s <laughs> And then he's still doing stuff in the, like, he was like 45 in Cocoon. Well, I think, yeah, that's just craziness. I think. Uh, I don't anyway. know if that's actually true, but I feel like he was. He's pretty, an American treasure, by the pretty way. Pretty young. Yeah. It's true. Okay. Heck of an um, actor. So, uh, in my sort of last round, um, I used to see supersizing as like the only size to get the value. Right. Like, that was, like, food was meant to be eaten in total abundance. Yeah. Um, you you got to go back to the buffet table. 47 times or you're not getting your money's worth. I know I've said this before, but I had always heard that portions in Europe were smaller and I was like, I'm not going there. (laughs) (laughs) That's not my America. No, no. We left the continent for a reason. (laughs) Yeah, we we, we, uh, started the revolution for larger portions. I call Europe the continent as though I, my my Polish ancestors (laughs) were like, we want big pierogies. Yeah, exactly. Um, so uh, I no longer see all you can eat as a personal challenge. Oh, that's a like, good one. Like the buffet was yeah. like, yes, like I'm all getting- I can eat. We'll see. We'll put you out of business is what we'll do. Yeah. Um, I'm more adventurous in general. I know I kind of said this before, but like yeah. if someone says like, hey, let's go try something. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Like and before I would come up with a self-conscious reason for not participating uh, in activities um, like at we went to a luau and there was like a do the hula everybody stand up and i was like i'm in there yeah. was no questioning no like oh i couldn't whatever i yeah, did yeah, yeah. it didn't look great but it did it no so, you look great thanks delivery drivers no longer know us by name like uh oh, santa claus's goodness. reindeer like yeah we used to be on speed dial with many many delivery people uh no longer it's very true uh and i honestly can go down a kid slide or go on the swings without feeling like I was going to break something or get stuck in the tube slide. Like, yeah. and that is huge for me. Like last, uh, last year we actually went down slides, went on a swing. It was fun times. Um, super fun, super fun. Uh, and this is my ending one. I feel like all of this has made our marriage better. Yeah. Like I feel like we spend more time, together like working on things instead of working on nachos it's true (laughs) i feel like we really motivate one another and try to reframe situations and give ourselves space to deal with problems and look toward solutions instead of feeling like victims yeah it's very true our morning walks i think have been awesome like, I feel like we're just much more on the same page. And I I honestly do feel like parenthood is, uh, you know, brings its challenges. And I feel like we are a unified front, whereas honestly, before I felt like it was a little fractured. So I f- like that it has made our relationship stronger and better is just it means everything to me. Yeah, me too. And and that is a certainly a. Uh a completely unexpected benefit like you know i like our marriage was really even, good yeah yeah but i mean i could never even imagine that it would become better because of us both 
losing a bunch of weight. Yeah. No, our, like, we're going to live a long time and annoy people for a very long time, which is a good. A very long but time. here's the thing yes. with all of this. A lot of things have not changed. A lot of things have not changed. Uh, it turns out weight loss does not fix all the things in the world. Um, we didn't actually come up with a super structured uh, method for this. I have a list of some things that have not changed. Yeah. Uh, but do you have so a list? So do I. Okay, what, why don't you go? Uh I have not gotten a raise or a promotion at work. Yeah, and, like it's not. And I've I've had to realize that it wasn't my weight stopping. Turns that from out it happening. was his personality. It was me <laughs> <laughs> being not very good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Um, I am. I still get sad. Like it hasn't made me a hundred percent happy person. I can say I'm probably happier, but I, it hasn't, you know, made all of my problems go away. Um, I still have to weigh, measure and track like all of my food. Yeah. The getting to the goal weight ish does not change the habits of losing weight. Like it didn't fix me. Like I'm not done. Nope. Like I can't just eat whatever I want now. I can't just like, you know, whatever perception that I had of what thin people do, like that is gone. Like I, I am thin because I do all of these things. It's not because it, there's just some like magical metabolism thing that has happened now. I have to constantly be vigilant that I'm not falling back into old habits. Um, I am still not an underwear model. <laughs> that has still not happened. Um, I still don't like to take my shirt off in public. Like, you know, it's not like I'm suddenly like wanting to flaunt everything now. Um I am still a nerd. <laughs> that has not it changed. It didn't fix it. I have not suddenly Why? become a cool guy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, Why? And I still, like, maintaining my weight looks a lot like losing the weight did. Yeah. Like, I'm still doing the same stuff. I'm still, you know, tracking my steps and trying to get as many steps as possible. And I'm still counting all my calories. And I'm not you know, just eating at a free for all. I'm still having to maintain all of my weight loss habits. And like that it? is my list. Okay. Back to you, dear. <laughs> uh, so I have a lot of the the same ones, but I still get to weigh and measure my food ah, and make, yeah. make conscious f food choices. Um, I still do the same purposeful movement. Going back to what Donald said, my maintenance is basically some days I eat a lot more and I'm indulgent yeah. and then other days I eat a lot less because I'm magically not hungry and I don't understand it, but it leads to maintenance for me. But there's no like, oh, well, now we just, you know, eat takeout every night yeah, again. I really thought I would I would hit my goal weight and then be able to like add, you know, 500 calories a day back. It's not really and how it, it works. It does not work that no, way. Like sadly. We, we have no. on the weekend, like we'll go out to eat or something like that. And that will be our for the week indulgence. Yeah. And then we yeah. go back to like maintaining our weight mode and, exactly. and losing weight. Um, I still have to work on my growth mindset. I still have to practice being attentive and investing in my knowledge, whether it's podcasts or books, like keeping in the rhythm of weight loss. Like I'm not fixed and suddenly I just go on to other things. Like I have to stay present and and grow because uh, we can get stagnant. And that's how I did it before I gained weight because I didn't stay present. For sure. Um, I have to reevaluate my plan from time to time, whether it's oh, yeah. like what season it is or if we're going on vacation. Like it's not just like every day is the same. I have to reevaluate my mindset all the time. Yeah, that's a good one, which I uh, I didn't write down. Like I don't have I don't have a hundred percent like fixed perfect plan right now. I'm still trying to adapt and change. And I also get tired of doing things and I have to to, you know, mix it up so that it keeps it fresh and interesting. Yeah. Um, I have to catch myself when I slip because I still do slip. And instead of waiting four months or until new year to fix myself, it's, you know, I get right back on track, uh, which is, which is great. Yeah. Um, I still have to challenge my limiting beliefs when I say I'll never or I can't. Like, those are choices. 
and I still have to push myself beyond my comfort zone um, because Me it still too. happens. Um, I am still an introvert, and I don't know if that is because I was an introvert because of my weight, but I'm not suddenly like the life of the party, like yeah. hanging out in big crowds. I'm still self-conscious when I go to our daughter's school, like, oh, do I have friends? Oh, like, it's not like I am suddenly the belle of the ball. <laughs> um, um I still have to set boundaries with people and I am still working on my confidence. I think um, you're much better at doing it now than you were before. I am I am really trying to not second guess my needs. Um and the biggest thing I still have depression. Like I had uh depression before. I still take uh medication for that which I do not apologize for. And so there are times when my confidence and my overall mental health are still a big struggle for me. And I have learned to manage that and push past it and work on my habits despite my depression. Um, it has improved, I think, because of all of these other things that are better. But there are still days where I feel like I have a, uh, you know, dementor on my chest uh, trying to suck out all of my life. And that's okay. Like it is okay that I am managing that and managing managing my weight at the same time. Um, I'm still a work in progress, and that is awesome. I don't feel fixed. I don't feel like Donald is fixed. Um, but I do believe that our growth mindset and our ability to look forward and not be limited uh, has made all of the difference. And that was one hundred things. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go back and count. Yeah. Go for it. Buddy. Yeah. If you can go back and re listen to the episode and tell us exactly how many things that was, you win a no prize. <laughs> no prize. <laughs> um, you'll get your money back. Yeah, um, exactly. But here is kind of the overarching point of all of this. And we said it at the beginning consider all of the ways in your life where you apologize for the space that you take up or apologize for your boundaries and your personal needs. Um, we've heard in other circumstances, microaggressions, small ways throughout the day that you are being compromised by wondering if you're going to break a chair, yeah. by wondering if people are going to ask you if you're pregnant. Being self-conscious when you're eating in front of other people, you know, being self-conscious about saying you're hungry feeling really terrible when you get on an airplane like all of those things were weighing down my psyche and really making me upset and i i don't even think i realized that it was happening and um it's not just about physical appearance it's about feeling better it's about all of the vacations that I didn't fully enjoy because i was just tired all the time yeah and all the ways we just sort of thought that we were victims of circumstance. And if you are at a place where you still have weight to lose, the process continues once you hit your goal weight. But all of these little ways day by day that we compromise ourselves, compromise our health, and compromise those around us by feeling like we don't deserve to, you know, live and breathe because of our weight – it is so possible to make change. And not once have we talked about the actual number on the scale. No. Like none of this has to be like, oh, wow, you're um, whatever my weight is. And now everything's perfect. These are all small ways that our lives have changed in the last two and a half years that yeah. I never could have imagined. Like even having a podcast, like we didn't say that. Like it is amazing the small ways we've recaptured our lives and become the stars instead of just be being on the sidelines. And we know that you are capable of getting so much of your life back that you didn't even realize you were missing. There are still things that happen today. Like my stomach doesn't like hit the cabinet when I open. The, like yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, I never even realized that that was a thing. Like That's 101 things 101. we've given you now. Yeah. And like everybody, Catherine was saying before we started recording, everybody has to find their why. Like every Everybody has to find the reason why they're doing this. And the reason does not just need to be the number on the scale. Or there diabetes. So, yeah, or diabetes or heart problems. Like there are so many reasons to get it together and do it. And there was nobody who was deeper in a hole than me or than Catherine. Like we were the poster children for doing nothing and slowly but surely killing ourselves with food and lack of exercise. And if we can turn it around, I promise you that you can turn it around too. 
We can. So uh, so that was our, our 100, whatever it is. 100th 100 episode. episode. Um, but we believe in you. If you are listening to this, your action matters, your space matters, your needs matter. And we are going to continue to find new ways that our lives are better without the scale. And it is amazing to me. Like, I know someone who just posted on Facebook, like, oh, I guess this is what 40 is, like 40th birthday with like a big grumpy sad face. And I was like, I am here to tell you that these are the best times so far. Like it is getting better and better. And I believe it is going to get better and better. And I didn't used to think that. So I have about two weeks left in my 40s. Oh, must (laughs) be nice. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, we were talking about starting a new segment called "Must Must Be Nice" or "Sucks to Be You." Yeah, <laughs> so, does so, it suck to be you? Sucks to be you is our new counter catchphrase to "Must Be Nice." Yeah. So, uh, if you have any non-scale victories that you would like to share with us, oh, we would love to hear like, about it. It all matters. Like we all win when we make positive changes in our life, whatever and it is. You can share with us uh, on Facebook on. Instagram on um, uh, Twitter at We Only Look Thin. Yeah, you can email us at We Only Look Thin at gmail.com. Uh, we also have, which we've talked about before, our private online uh, accountability group for women called Wolt Place, W O L T Place. You can find out more about our private group by going to our website, We Only Look Thin. Dot com. Right. Right. We uh, only look in dot com. Yes. And click on. <laughs> has not changed in two years. <laughs> I was going to say at Gmail, but that is not how the internet works. No. Um, but you can click on uh, join our support group to find out more information on our plans there. Um, because we're still works in progress as much as we have created the group to support others. Yeah. Um, it is still a live and active process that we are into. We are not fixed. I am not fixed. And if you want to do something for us that. Uh, uh, does not cost any money if you've gotten something out of this and uh, you're not ready to join a support group or uh, don't feel like you need that you could leave us a review that on would be apple amazing. podcast that would really help us out uh preferably five stars but we'll take what we can get um but uh every one of those uh, helps grow the show it helps get the word out like you know whatever algorithm apple has like the more reviews and and ratings we get the more that we show up in searches and that kind of thing and it uh really helps us out yeah and for the newer listeners who have found us through the coco caliente podcast or oh, yeah. through the uh gefit yourself uh, mfm group on facebook uh, thank you so much for spreading the word and for listening like we are as strong as our uh, listeners are so that you are uh, here with us just means everything. It really does. Uh, We appreciate each and every one of you. So if you have lasted this long, and if you have counted up the 100 ways that we are now awesome and perfect, (laughs) (laughs) and you still consider us uh, to be boastful blowhards, just remember (laughs) that beside that, we are also an An inspiration Asian. The information that you hear on this podcast is for informational purposes only. The hosts are not medical professionals. You should always consult with your doctor, nurse, or other certified health professional before beginning any diet or fitness program.